Hello and welcome to the Art of Cooking. Today we are going to make Buddha's Delight, Luo Han Zai, also known as Mixed Vegetable Delight. This dish is usually made with at least 10 ingredients. Some ingredients may include dried lily buds, ginkgo nuts, black moss. You're probably thinking, WTF, where am I going to get these ingredients? But don't worry, I'm not going to use these ingredients. Although you could get them at an Asian supermarket. So let's get started. Soak shiitake mushrooms in half cup or 118 milliliter of cold or room temperature water. Depending on the size, it may take an hour or longer. Soak the dry wood ear or tree ear fungus in approximately 120 milliliter or half cup of cold water for about 30 minutes. Here I have 6.5 ounce or 185 gram of firm tofu. Remove excess moisture on the tofu using paper towels. Use a plate and a chopstick to hold the tofu, then use a plate or bowl and place it on top of the tofu for about 10 to 15 minutes. Here is 2.3 ounce or 65.32 grams napa. Cut off the leaf from the stalk. Cut the stalk into approximately 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters. Cut approximately 1 ounce or 28 grams of a carrot into about 1 tenth of an inch or 3 millimeter slices. Cut approximately 3 oz or 85 g of a broccoli into bite size. Here I have 1.6 oz or 45 g of soaked wood ear or mu'er in Chinese. Squeeze out the excess water. Cut the wood ears into strips about 5 mm or 1 5th of an inch. Some wood ear may have a stem attached to it. Make sure to cut it off as it is hard and unedible. Here I have 1.41 ounce or 40 grams of shiitake mushrooms. Squeeze out the excess water. If you have a long stem on the shiitake mushrooms, cut it off as the stem is tough and chewy. Cut the mushrooms into approximately half an inch or 1.2 centimeter strips. Strain the shiitake mushrooms liquid through a mesh strainer to remove any grits and impurities. Here are all the vegetables, which includes bamboo shoots, baby corn, water chestnuts, and snow peas. In case you're wondering, including the tofu, that's 10 vegetables. After about 10 to 15 minutes, remove the firm tofu from the paper towels. Cut the tofu in half from the side. Then cut into blocks about 1 inch or 2.54 centimeters across. Now let's fry the tofu. In a pot or wok, heat the vegetable oil to 350 Fahrenheit or 177 Celsius. Carefully lower the tofu in the oil. Use a skimmer or a spider strainer to lower the tofu into the oil to avoid splashing. Fry the tofu for about 3 minutes or until golden brown. Make sure to flip the tofu over to ensure even frying. After about 3 minutes, take the tofu out and set it aside. Now let's make the slurry thickener. In a cup, add in 1 tablespoon of potato starch and 1 tablespoon of water and stir. Next, in a pot of boiling water, lightly blanch the broccoli for about 45 seconds. After about 45 seconds, remove the broccoli from the water and set it aside. In a wok or pan, turn your fire to medium high and add in 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil or olive oil. In my case, I have to add in 2 tablespoons of extra oil in order to coat the whole wok. Add in the napa stock and the carrots first. Stir fry for about 10 to 15 seconds. Add in the baby corn, water chestnuts, and the boiled broccoli. Continue to stir fry for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, add in the rest of the vegetable and stir fry for another 30 to 45 seconds. Then add in the liquid from the shiitake mushroom. Continue to stir fry or you can walk it out until the liquid evaporates. Actually, just stir fry for about 10 to 15 seconds. Add in the fried tofu and stir fry for 15 to 20 seconds. 
Now add in 1 cup or 254 milliliter of brown sauce. Click on the video on the upper left hand corner for the brown sauce. Once it comes to a boil, add in the potato starch slurry and continue to stir fry for about 15 to 20 seconds or until all the vegetables are well coated with the sauce. Lastly, add in 1 teaspoon of sesame oil. The stir frying time should take no more than 5 minutes. You want the vegetable to retain its crunchiness. Finally, plate and serve immediately. On a side note, vegetarians in the brown sauce replace the chicken stock with the vegetable stocks and replace the oyster sauce with oyster sauce from shiitake mushrooms or oyster mushrooms and also garnish with some green onions. In this dish, you can also add in enoki mushrooms, shimeji mushrooms or oyster mushrooms. I almost forgot to mention this. This dish is usually served on the first day of Chinese New Year. Now thank you for watching, make sure to rate, fave, subscribe, and leave a comment below.